So you saw the title of this video and you were intrigued to see what we gonna end up talking about in this conspiracy TikTok reaction. I know this is not the type of video you'd expect me to be dropping, but it's something that I'm into. If you end up enjoying this video, leave a like on it. We do drop sneaker and streetwear content mainly on the channel. And I'm gonna test out this conspiracy theory vibe. If it's something you would like to see on here, subscribe and let me know what to react to next. Whether it's conspiracies or anything else that you think would be cool, let me know in the comments but with all that being said let's get straight to it so for now we're gonna do it like this i am gonna try to figure out a way to pair my headphones with it but i'm gonna learn along the way you feel me we got the best conspiracy tiktok compilation right here i did watch a little bit of it so i can say that it was looking kind of interesting so let's go ahead and get into it a person the government doesn't want you to know about up to reality rockefeller yo this man's was terrible bro literally look at everything he did right there that says everything and if you think about it we're focusing on the system in school that he created which is literally to make people get into that work habit if that makes sense he removed natural medicine which if y'all heard about dr sebi he got killed because he came up with a cure for literally everything almost with natural herbs but this man was terrible bro terrible you'll find that suspicious Morgan Freeman, ever young. Yo, he always looked like that. No bullshit. <laughs> you guys need to see this video. She tried to tell us before she passed away. Lisa used to be blind. Until she met a man called Dr. Sebi. I was talking about him in the beginning. He basically used alkaline herbs to heal people. Dr. Sebi was sued by the government. He beat the case and literally like a couple days after some shit like that, he was killed. But he had the cure to a lot of shit. Got sued for healing people with natural herbs. Remember the first video we watched with Rockefeller? He basically canceled that natural herb shit. He knew that that shit was the real medicine. He turned it into medicine that produced by oil and shit. Like, what the fuck? And yes, Rockefeller's probably dead. I don't even know, but his family still runs shit. Just like the Rothschilds. Those are the people that really run the world, to be honest. So you feel like Conspiracy theory that no one can convince you isn't true because somehow it just makes sense. I'll go first. All ancient civilizations were somehow connected. There are so many unexplainable similarities between civilizations that just never connected. And by that I mean they were literally oceans apart. I'm not even going to touch on the fact that everyone and their grandmother liked to build pyramids that were in the same shape as Orion's belt. Or that the gods that they worshipped were incredibly similar. Oh, I'm going to focus on these bad boys. Now when we think of these heads, we think of the tiny island in the middle of the ocean. Y'all remember those? Those the shits that be in the fucking Bahamas? and shit. I'm trying to go to the Bahamas low key, but. The infamous Easter Island. Now these megalithic heads are known as Maui. So there's actually 30 feet of a body buried underground on each statue. 30 feet, bro. This moment is the fact that all 30 feet of body is buried under tons and tons of sediment. Now, How can humans fact, put that down there? possible for this much sediment to build up in only 700 years and cover 30 feet of a body on a remote island. The second such moment is the fact that ancient civilizations all had their own statues and they share a striking resemblance to the ones on Easter Island. Easter Island is 2,000 miles away from any landmass. First up, we've got the cloud people of Peru, the bearded gods on Boa Island in Ireland, in Bro. Mesoamerica, some in Mexico, chilling in Indonesia, this one in Turkey. Bro, how would all of them shits get there? Like, how do people put them in there? You get what I'm saying? It just sounds like something else put them there, and they all look like a certain type of figure, which probably resembles whoever put that statue there. I don't know. All from cultures who apparently never met. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't have the answer to this conspiracy theory, but it just seems to be a lot of coincidences that just don't seem like coincidences. I'm excited to see what conspiracy theories you guys believe. There was no cranes back then, bro. Like, I don't know. It's kind of steep, but who knows? I told you that there's a possibility that the Statue of Liberty is Whoa. actually a statue dedicated to Lucifer. Hey, the yo. is a painting made in the 17th century known as Satan summoning his legion. Now, the devil's original name in the Bible was known as Lucifer, or in Hebrew, Helel, which means the light bearer or the bringer of light. Now, the Statue of Liberty is holding a torch. It's bearing the light. It's similar to the Colossus of Rhodes. The Colossus of Rhodes was one of the ancient wonders of the world. Bronze Greek statue, about 108 feet tall. And just like the Statue of Liberty, the Colossus of Rhodes has a crown of light. It's holding a torch. This statue was dedicated to the Greek god Helios, the god of the sun, the god of the light. 
In fact, many Luciferians mm -hmm. refer to the devil as the great light. And this painting of Satan summoning his legion looks awfully similar to the face of the Statue of Liberty. Take a look. It looks pretty similar to me. But it's just a theory. Who knows? Hey, yo. That one was maybe a stretch. I don't know. Maybe because I was born in New York. But maybe I'm just holding on. And I can't let go. That shit was kind of resembling it. I'm not going to lie. He had a case. He had a little case going on and shit. The day we realized we aren't from this universe. What? <laughs> what? What the fuck did I just watch? What does this even mean? <laughs> the top five scariest conspiracy theories. At number five, we have the Diatov Pass incident. In Russia, during 1959, nine healthy people died from ski truck with no explainable details. Investigators revealed the tent ripped from the inside out and strange wounds were found on the victims' bodies. Some of the bodies were found to be highly radioactive. Coming in at number four, we have MK Ultra. In the 1950s, the CIA began to conduct Yo, secret research to mind control. I've actually heard about this before. MK Ultra is when they control people. They're saying that some artists are being controlled by MK Ultra, like Young Boy Gooch, a couple people to be honest. Cardi, who was <laughs> glitching out here, you feel me? They wanted to see how the use of certain substances such as LSD and other extreme psychological experiences affected the human brain. They performed it on these subjects without their consent. And number three, we have the Men in Black. This theory revolves around the fact that Men in Black are said to turn up after every ufo sighting and have done so since the 50s and number two we have imagine they just come to your shit your whole shit gone you don't even know what the fuck just happened <laughs> the roswell incident in 1947 the military retracted a statement saying they captured a flying saucer and instead it was a crash weather balloon of course bro that's cat and number one we have the philadelphia experiment during world war ii it's believed scientists were working for the u.s navy to make a ship that could be invisible they say that ship, the USS Eldridge, docked in Philadelphia during 19... You lost me at the end. I think it was an invisible you know boat. about the door theory? So take this in. Every single door, or like the normal doors they use in a house, they have a cross and a Bible placed in the was, door. I was thinking about that shit the other day, bro. I'm not even going to lie. Dead ass. I was laying in bed. I'm like, yo, this shit look like a cross. What the fuck? And then there's like little squares and shit. I don't know what the fuck that mean. I was thinking about that shit. Yo, that's crazy. Yeah. The symbol of a cross and a Bible are in the door. I've always noticed that as a kid. Yeah? Like, the like not all doors, but like majority of doors, right? Mm -hmm. Like there's a cross. The regular door, you know that that shape. Yeah. Well, the top the top part is a cross, and then the bottom is an open Bible. Look, look, I, look at yeah, it. Yeah, no, I do see it like that. So what they used to do is they made it like that to keep away evil spirits oh. from entering your home. You know what's crazy? What? My old house didn't have that. It was just Whoa. a wooden. It was just a wooden. Like each was just wooden. That's why I think not all doors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I did like. It was just flat. Yeah. Oh damn! Do you have any like ghost stories at that house? Mm -hmm. Dude? Yeah. Oh shit. Hey yo, I ain't know the bottom was a Bible, but I knew the top looked like a cross for sure. Government conspiracy. Yo, pause, 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 pause. If y'all enjoying this video so far, leave a like on it down below for more conspiracy theory TikToks. Come on, bro. Just show some love. That ass. Let me know what else you would like me to react to in the comments. Still got more sneaker content coming. Don't don't forget. Warning, some of these will make you doubt your government. The first theory that was proven to be true is that the CIA created a heart attack gun. The theory states that the CIA built a secret weapon in the 60s and 70s that could cause a fatal heart attack. The weapon shot a small dart that left nothing behind except for a small red dot on the skin. So think about it though. If they have this shit, they could literally beep shoot somebody with that shit and they're done, bro. And then all they have to say is some shit happened. You feel what I'm saying? Target hey, yo. Would only feel a small prick, kind of like a bug bite, but would be poison. Poison would also not be detected in an autopsy. <laughs> Photos taken moments before disaster. What? Our Treasure Valley communities, the El Paso Las Cruces communities, Eastern Iowa communities, Mid Michigan communities. We are extremely proud of the quality, balanced journalism that CBS 4 News produces. But we are concerned about the trouble that's trying to get responsible. One side hey. of the story is playing our What? They're all literally reading the same shit. Who the fuck is telling them what to say? I want to know who the fuck that person is, to be honest. Country. Plaguing our country. The sharing of biased and false news has become all too common on social media. More alarming, some media outlets publish these same fake stories 
without checking facts first. The sharing of bias and false, false news has, has become, become all too common, common on social media. media. More alarming, some media outlets publish the same things that are true without checking facts first. They're all saying the same shit, bro. If social media is saying the bullshit and there's literally 35 channels on here saying the same shit come on bro social media is people sharing their own opinions y'all are puppets dead ass this is extremely dangerous to our democracy this is extremely dangerous to our democracy this sounds like the pledge of allegiance bro this is extremely dangerous to our democracy. This is extremely dangerous to our democracy. I get it. This is extremely dangerous to our democracy. Yo, that's crazy. Don't watch the news, bro. Social media is the news. And even that shit is kind of like, you got to watch who you're, like, it has to be authentic. I've added neon accents to their car. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Which make their driver numbers easier to see now. Bro, I'm out, man. World's Most Dangerous Conspiracy That's Theories, crazy. Season 2. This picture represents conspiracy theories from the most well-known to the darkest. Some of these theories say that once you learn the truth, there's no return. Today, we're going to be talking about Ouija boards. A Ouija board is a board printed with numbers, letters, and symbols in hopes of communicating with the dead. The never. You would never catch me even opening one of them shits in my house. Never, brother. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Three of the Ouija board is just as mysterious as the game itself. A woman named Helen Peters claimed to be a very strong sidekick and actually invented the board herself. Eventually, Helen Peters' brother-in-law named Elijah wanted to get these things patented so that he could sell these everywhere. Helen Peters and Elijah traveled everywhere trying to get this patent, but the offices said they couldn't release a patent unless they had proof of it working. Nobody in these offices wanted to even get close to the board for unknown reasons. Until one day they traveled to Washington, D.C., and the chief of patent walked in the room and said, you don't know me and I don't know you. Then he said, if this board can tell me my name, I will sign the patent for you right now. The board apparently spelled the man's name. He walked out of the office, looked at Helen Peters, and said, you got your patent. Years later, Helen Peters and Elijah had a falling out, and Helen said she no longer wanted anything to do with this board. Elijah, on the other hand, continued selling these boards until one day he fell off of a three-story building. He actually survived the fall, and some bystanders saw his body laying in the road. They picked him up, put him in the car, and they hit a bump in the road, and his broken rib pierced through his heart. After that, the family sold the rights to the board, and all the way up until Helen Peters' death, her last words is, do not play the Ouija board in lies. And now you can buy a Ouija board from any store and they're marketed to children. So the question remains, are these boards just a hoax or was Helen Peters trying to warn us of something much darker? Hey, yo, hey, yo, pause, 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 pause. What? Bro fell off a three-story building, survived, and on the way to the hospital, his rib broke and stabbed him and he died. <laughs> And despite me saying that that is secretly six ounces of liquor, you guys want more food conspiracy theories? Fine. Did you know that you only like bacon because people in the industry made you like bacon? In the 1980s, the pork industry was losing a ton of money. That's because in the 80s, we were all about being fit. But with that, the pork industry needed to sell their lower cuts of meat. So they teamed up with the CEO of Hardee's to try and push meats that are lower cut in exchange for selling a lot of their bacon at a loss. After that, the pork industry sold a lot of products that said, I love bacon t-shirts and bacon chapstick, bacon jam, baking wrapping paper, and yes, baking lube. Up until the point where in 2008, Who's making bacon lube, bro? <laughs> like, what? Y'all was wildin' in the 80s, deadass. So that does it for the first conspiracy TikTok video, man. Leave a like on this one. If it's something you would be into, keep tuning in. I'ma try to make it like a special day of the week every week. Just one time, you feel me? Just so I could get it off, pause, hey, yo. <laughs> pause but if y'all have anything y'all want me to react to leave it in the comments with all that being said i'm gonna catch y'all on the next one also roll to 20k come on we like 200 away subscribe to the channel with all that being said i'm gonna catch y'all on the next one peace stay up and i'm out